In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Inkscape version 48 to create a vector style hot air balloon, similar to what you see here on my screen. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new document. First thing we'll do is we'll click on this button right here, the Align and Distribute menu, to bring that, we'll bring that menu up. And make sure you have last selected chosen from this list. And then we'll go over to the Edit, Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke. We'll click on that to open up that menu. And then we'll go to View, make sure you have Custom selected. And then we'll go to Zoom, Zoom 1 to 1. And we'll go to File, Document Properties, and uncheck these two boxes. Then we can close that out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a square. So come over here to this button that says Create create Rectangles and Squares. And while holding Control and Shift on your keyboard, just click and drag on the canvas to create a perfect square, kind of like that. And then we're going to come over here to where it says Opacity. And we're going to slide that in half so we can see through it. And then we're going to go to Path, Object to Path. And then let's go back to our arrow. And let's click on this a second time to bring up these rotation handles. And while holding control on the keyboard, just click and drag this and rotate it so that the corners are going perfectly up and down like that. And then we'll come over here to the Edit Paths by Nodes button. We'll click on that. And then we're going to click and drag over these top three over these top three nodes right there so you have all three of them selected. And we're going to click this button that's right here that says Make Selected Nodes Auto Smooth. Let's so go ahead and click that once and it's going to turn into that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag over these two side uh, nodes right here just so you have those two selected. And just click and drag, hold your control key and just click and drag it up to about there. Maybe a little higher. Yeah, something like that. And then after that, let's go back to our arrow. Let's click on that. And let's take this side arrow and let's just drag this in like this. We're going to make that, we'll make that about that wide. Okay. So uh, actually, let's hold Control and Shift and let's make this a little bigger, just to make it easier for us. Okay, so after that, let's click on this a second time to bring up these rotation handles again. And then once you have them open, come up here to where it says Snap to Cusp Nodes. We're going to click that button and turn that on. And you should see this little crosshair in the middle right here. Just take this crosshair and click and drag it down to the bottom so that it hooks up to that corner right there. Once it snaps to that corner, just leave it there and turn that off. And that's going to make it so that crosshair acts as an axis to how the object rotates. See, if I rotate this now, it now rotates on that axis. Whereas before, it would just rotate in the middle. So once you have that done, let's right-click this and go to Duplicate. And let's turn that blue. And while holding your Control key, take this top arrow right here, and let's shrink this down about that much. Then we're going to right-click, Duplicate again, we're going to turn that red and hold control and click and drag this down to about there. Then we're going to right click, duplicate again. We're going to turn that blue and while holding control, click and drag that down to about there. And we're going to do this one more time. We're going to right click, duplicate, turn that red, hold control and click and drag it down to about there. Okay, so let's take this first blue shape right here and let's click this a second time to get the rotation handles brought up and then we'll just click and drag this out to the side like that just to about there and then we'll take this first red shape we'll click on that and then click it a second time to bring up the rotation handles and let's just click and drag this out to about there and then we'll take this uh, next blue object we'll click on that click it a second time to get the rotation handles click and drag it out to about there and we'll take this last one right here, click on that, click it a second time, and we'll rotate this out to about there. So you should end up with something like that. Now let's go ahead and turn these uh, snap to custom nodes. We're going to turn that back on for what we're about to do next. So once you have that turned on, click and drag over all of these colored shapes. Make sure not to select the black one. If you accidentally select the black one as well, you can just hold your shift key and click on it again to deselect that while having the rest of these selected. So once you have those selected, let's right click this and go to duplicate. And let's come up here to where it says flip selected objects horizontally. We'll click that once and we'll grab this down here and bring it over here until it snaps onto the corners there. And that's and once once you have that there, you can go ahead and turn this off. Excuse my phone. 
Okay, so this actually, this looks a little too tall compared to the rest of them. So I'm just going to scale this down a little bit. We don't, we don't want that one to be too much taller. Okay, so what we could do now is we can click and drag over this whole thing. And we can right click it and go to duplicate. And we go to path, union. And then we'll go up here to where it says lower selection to the bottom and click on that. Come over here to stroke paint. Let's turn that on with this button right here. And let's come over to stroke style and let's try to give this a 20 point stroke and see what that looks like. Let's type in 20, hit enter. Maybe 25. I'm gonna make it a little thicker than that. Okay, that works. Once you have that set, let's go to path, stroke to path, path, break apart, path, union. So what we'll do next is we're going to click on this blue, this blue shape right here. We're going to right click this and go to duplicate. And while holding your control key, you're going to hold control and press zero on your keyboard like that. And what it's going to do is it's going to make it a little bigger. That's called an outset. So I'm going to do that again. I did it once. I'm going to do it a second time, a third time, fourth time, fifth time, maybe a sixth. Yeah, I'll do it six times. Okay. so. We did that six times, and then with that selected, hold shift and let's click on this red shape right here. And with them both selected, path, difference. So you end up with something like that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna click on this red shape, right click it. We're gonna do the outset six times, so hold control and press zero six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then hold shift, and click on this blue shape, and let's go to path, difference. And we'll do the same thing with this next shape. Right click on that and go to duplicate. Control and zero six times. Hold shift, click on the red shape. Let's go to path, difference. And we're gonna come over here and do that on this side. We're gonna click on this first blue one, right click, duplicate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold shift, click on that one. Path, difference. Do this one over here. Right click, duplicate. Control and zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold shift, click on that shape, go to path, difference. Now we'll click on this one, right click, duplicate. Control and zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold shift and click on that red shape, path, difference. And we'll take this black one in the middle here, right click, duplicate, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna duplicate this again and then hold shift and click on this blue one on the left. And go to path, difference, and then click this one here. Hold shift, click on the one on the right, path, difference. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna t click on this uh, middle black shape and we're gonna delete that. You can just press uh, delete on your keyboard. And then we're gonna go and delete all of the red ones. So just click on the red ones and delete them. So you're left with something like this. Okay, and what you can do now is you can click on all, all four of these blue ones while holding shift. Hold shift and click on all of them. Go to path, union. Hold shift, click on the shape in the background. Go to path, difference. Okay, and what we'll do next is we're going to go to our magnifying glass over here. And we're going to zoom in over this bottom portion right here. Just click and drag over it to zoom in. And we're going to come over to our ellipse tool and we're gonna create an ellipse going over the bottom here. But first, let's come over to the Stroke Paint tab and let's turn that off by clicking the X. Okay, so let's come back over to the arrow and let's make our ellipse. Okay, you can make it a little bigger than the edges here. You're gonna to wanna to make it a little bigger, a little uh, wider, I mean, so maybe something like that. And then right click that and go to duplicate and drag that down to about here, about there I'd say. And hold shift and click on the other one and let's go to path difference so you end up with something like this. So let's take this and let's bring this down here and let's hold shift and click on the black shape and let's center that on the vertical axis. And then click off of it to deselect everything. Then we're going to click on this black shape right here, we're going to right click and go to duplicate and then while holding shift click on the red shape. Let's go to Path, Intersection. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click this red shape, go to Duplicate, 
and we're gonna we're gonna do another outset. So just do a control zero, do it again. Control zero, control zero, and maybe one more time. Control zero, and then hold shift and click on the black shape. Let's go to path difference, and then we could press one on the keyboard to zoom out. And what you could do now is go to path break apart and click off of it to deselect everything and let's click on this little this little piece down here and let's let's ditch that we don't need that just press delete and it's gone so the next thing we'll do let's zoom back in let's come back to the arrow uh, the uh, magnifying glass click and drag over the bottom here and let's go uh, and create another ellipse we're gonna make an ellipse down here it's gonna be a little bit wider than the bottom of this shape so we're gonna make it something like that Maybe zoom out a little bit. You could press plus and minus on your keyboard to zoom in and out. Okay, so let's go back to the arrow. Let's play around with the size of this a little bit. We want it to make it about that big. And once you have that set, hold shift and click on that bottom red piece and let's center that up on the vertical axis. And then click off of it to deselect everything. Then we'll take this one, let's right click it and go to duplicate and let's bring it down here and then come up here to where it says snap to pads it's gonna be a green little squiggly line click that button to turn that on and then we'll come over here to our bezier pen and bring the pen over to the far left edge of this ellipse right here and click on it and then while holding control on your keyboard drag this line straight down to here until it snaps onto the edge of that one and then click again and then while still holding control the whole time you bring you bring the line over here until it snaps onto that one click again and then bring it straight up to here until it snaps under there. We're holding control the entire time we do this. And then bring it back to the starting point. Now let's go ahead and turn that, that uh, snap to pads. Let's turn that off. Let's go back to our arrow over here. And let's make that blue. Let's turn the stroke off. And let's bring the opacity down a little bit. And let's click and drag over this whole little section right here. And let's right click that and go to duplicate. Then we'll go to Path, Union, and we'll turn that black. And then come up here to where it says Lower Selection to the bottom. And click on that, and let's turn the stroke on that. Come over to Stroke Paint, click the blue button to turn that on. Come over to Stroke Style, let's give that a 10-point stroke maybe. Yeah, that works. All right, so we'll do a 10-point stroke, and where it says Join, let's make that rounded. Click on that button right there to make it a rounded join. Then we'll go to Path, Stroke to Path, Path, Break apart, path, union. So let's click on this blue shape and let's delete that. Press delete on your keyboard. And click this bottom red circle. Get rid of that, press delete. And then we'll take this top one right here and while holding shift in your keyboard, click the black shape as well so you have them both selected. And we'll go to path, difference. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a little rectangle. So we're gonna come up here where it says create rectangles and squares, click on that. And we're going to create a little rectangle, kind of like this. Let's go and turn that stroke off. Let's come over to Stroke Paint, turn that off. Let's come back to the arrow. And let's make this, uh, let's make this about this wide, maybe. And then hold Shift and click on this uh, little shape we just created and center that up on the vertical axis. Now let's take this, let's right click it and go to Duplicate. And let's bring this over here to the edge and let's click it a second time to bring up our rotation handles only we're not going to rotate this we're going to shift it uh, according to this arrow right here so click on this arrow at the very top and let's just shift that over like that actually you're going to want to bring this over the whole point of this is to get this uh, you want to get this shape going over the corner here kind of like that and you want it to still go to the edge over here so after you've done that let's right click it and duplicate Come up to where it says flip selected objects horizontally, click on that, and then hold control on your keyboard and just click and drag this over to the other side. So it's at roughly the same position, but on the other side. Something like that. Now let's take this middle one and let's grab this bottom arrow right here and let's just drag this down so it's going over that white circle in the middle. Now let's press one on the keyboard. 
and uh, we'll do this again. We'll go and click on each one of these while holding shift. So hold shift and click on each one of these little shapes, all four of them. Let's go to path union and let's hold shift and click on the balloon in the background and go to path difference. And then we can click and drag over this whole thing. We could bring the opacity up and we can color that in however you'd like. Um, if you'd like to keep these stripes on here and make them a different color, what you can do is you can click on this and you could just go to pa uh, path, break apart, and it's going to give you these shapes, but you have to, you have to find them. There we go, right there. You can click them individually and there you go. You have them back. I was just showing you how to make this in, um, you know, kind of like a monotone single color sort of way, but that's how you can, uh, that's how you can create something like that with Inkscape. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll gladly help you out. And thank you for watching.